console. Yeah, and this and this another thing too. Slack your phone call came through. Um, we have to uh, you know, watch for gal, man. You know, and the gal is a creepy thing that can creep up in there. You know what I'm saying? We could try to uh, cause like uh, Apostle Peter told Yahweh Shai when they um when they was finna get ready to come get him, uh, get ready to come get him. You know what I'm saying for uh persecution, crucifixion. Uh, he told uh Yahweh Shai. Look, you ain't got to deal with this. You ain't got to go through that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, ain't got to do that. You know? And, um, you know, that was that gal. That was that gal that creeped up on him. You know? So we got to be mindful of that. And we cannot do no sin. You know, we can, uh, where it tells you, be yeah, angry, angry, but sin not. You know? So don't, we're, we're not, and, and, a, and a part of tra- transgression is trying to take, a part of sin is trying to take vengeance upon yourself. You know, that's, 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 that's sinning as well. You know, it's verse 23, who, when he was reviled, reviled, not again. So he was reviled. He didn't revile back when he suffered. He threatened not. So when he suffered, he didn't threaten, he, he didn't threaten, you know, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. And that's what we're supposed to do. You know, we're supposed to commit ourselves to him that judges righteously. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't bring, that's why we don't, uh, avenge ourselves. Let's get a few more. This is Luke chapter 9 and verse 55. Oh, it's like it. Let me start at 53. This is Luke chapter 9, verse 53. And they did not receive him. Speak about our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my shot, you know, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. So these these certain um these certain Samaritans, you know, uh, ultimately uh uh Israelites, you know, they they didn't want to receive our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And you know what what it says in verse 54, it says, and when it's like it. It's like it. It says, and they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, without that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did. It says, but he turned and rebuked. So the disciples was like, should we, should we call down fire on him? Let's, let's bring forth, let's avenge ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Elias did. He, he brought forth, uh, 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 he brought forth vengeance. Let's, let's avenge ourselves, you know, but you know, it's a time and the season for everything. We know that pertains to Ecclesiastes third chapter, you know? So what'd he say? Well, yeah, what yeah, what should I say? Verse 55, but he turned and rebuked them. So he rebuked them. And said, "Ye know not, yo, ye know not what manner of spirit ye are. Of. Yeah, what spirit are you of, man? You know, what what spirit is that? That's an unfaithful spirit, man. You know, that's a faithless spirit. That's not a, a a virtuous spirit. You know, for the Son of Man is not come to destroy man's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. And that's our whole point, man. That's our. We're we're not to be concerned with how the ungodly should be punished, man. You know, we're not to be concerned with the uh, punishment you know because really we're we're bearing the indignation of the lord because we sinned against him you know as it was our mind to go astray from the heavenly father seek him 10 times more so we're in a position where we we should be um bearing our punishment not worrying about bringing punishment to somebody else for something that's that's happened to us because really we deserve whatever the hell happened to, to to us you know we're we're on punishment we're in captivity let's go let's go to leviticus it's leviticus Chapter 19 and verse 18. It says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, Yahweh Shah. So this is a, a a law. This is a commandment. You know, a law, statue, and a commandment, however you want to spin it. Okay. But this is this is a law. Okay. That thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So you're not supposed to have no type of grudge against the bitterness of uh, against the uh, children of thy people, man. And that word grudge goes into bitterness. You know, another word that's synonymous with grudging is, is bitterness. Uh, so you're not supposed to have an evil heart or a bitter heart, a root of a bitterness towards your people, man. You know, this is, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You know what I'm saying? So if you want somebody to show mercy on you, if you afflicted punishment or harm unto them, you know what I'm saying? Or you know, if you wronged them in some kind of way, you would expect mercy. It's just like, because we have inflicted harm and, 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 and 
things and, and, and wrongdoing unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, but we want mercy for him, from him, you know, so that's why we're to esteem others higher than ourselves and, you know, uh, and, and, and give that mercy to others that we, we expect from the Heavenly Father, although we have done wrong, you know. Um, let's go ahead and Exodus 23. It's another example in the Torah of how we're not to avenge ourselves. So this this is the law. This Exodus chapter 23 and verse 4. It says, If thou meet in thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him. If thou see the ass of him that hateth thee lying under his burden, and wouldest forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him. So right. So this is the whole point. If thou if, if thou meet thine enemy's ox, like you know, see his his cattle now went astray, you know, you're supposed to bring it to him. You know what I'm saying? Even if this guy's an enemy to you, even if he wants hurt to happen unto you, even if he wants to inflict punishment unto you, you're still supposed to uh be the bigger person and show malignity and show charity and benevolence by bringing forth uh this uh this this ox back to him. Why? Because you'll heap hot coals over their head. You know, if you want vengeance, that's the, if if you want uh, vengeance to be executed upon somebody, which that's not even the spirit to be in anyway. You know what I'm saying? But this is how it's gonna happen if you if you uh you you repay good for evil, and that's how you come out on top. You conquer evil with good. You don't conquer uh uh you don't conquer uh, uh evil with evil. That's not how you do it. You know, that's not how you win. Know. Ultimately, charity covers a multitude of sins. That fervent charity, you know, and that goes for for anyone of your nation, you know. And ultimately, it tell you in uh, First Timothy the second chapter that you know you're supposed to lead a peaceable life, you know, you're supposed to lead a peaceable life with all type of authorities and principalities and all men, you know, because this is this is. This is the spirit of righteousness. This is the whole point of it. This that's the whole point. It's not about what what's what's right and what's wrong and all that, man. It's about the, the spirit that, that 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 needs to be pushed throughout the earth, that needs to be conveyed. The spirit of righteousness is what's going to uh, overtake the spirit of wickedness and iniquity. You know, so that's why that's the that's the whole point of it. And this uh Job chapter thirty one and verse twenty eight says, This also were an iniquity to be punished by the judge for I should have just denied the power that is above that is above Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, so th this is a uh, this is a iniquity that should be punished by a judge right here it says if I rejoice at the destruction of him that hated me or lifted up myself when evil found him neither have I suffered my soul to my mouth to sin by wishing a curse to his soul that's ice cold man that's ice cold. It says, neither have I suffered my mouth to sin by wishing a curse to his soul. Well, I don't, I don't even know how you get around this. I don't even know how you get around this. It's like, okay, bringing forth, uh, uh, putting a curse on, 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 on a fellow Israelite being okay. When it just, we just read that Job would have suffered his mouth to sin if he did it. You know, and we're not to rejoice at the destruction of him that hates us. You know, why? Because the Heavenly Father is, 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 justified within having a hatred towards us man you know why because uh of the evil that we've committed so if anyone commits the evil towards us you know it would be a sin on our part to be like okay uh i, I can avenge myself because of what he's done man you know what I, i'm justified within it because the heavenly father is even if you're justified within it because the heavenly father is justified and bringing forth judgment uh and punishment upon us but we don't want that you know we don't want that. I got a couple more. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 17. This is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 17. It says, Rejoice, rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let, let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Why, man? Why? Because the heavenly father, unless the heavenly father see it. Oh, it's gonna tell. Well, here it go right here, verse eighteen. Let's the Lord Yahweh yeah, shall see it, and it deplete is the, it, it, it deplete and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. You see, and now, and, 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 see now you 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 so you so happy about oh your enemy coming to a situation because of something wrong that they've done to you or whatever reasoning, 
you know what I'm saying, the Heavenly Father see that and be like, okay, you so happy, motherfucker, but you don't even know what your end finna be, man. I'm finna take my wrath away from them, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like that's fitting for what their punishment is. And my, not, Now let me center in on you. Now let me center in on your ass, you know. You're gonna be so vengeful. You're gonna be, uh, you wanna bring forth vengeance, you know. When vengeance is the heavenly fathers, man. The hell you think you are, man? This it right here. This uh, I'm gonna restart at 14. Now this uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 14 says, "Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, be patient toward all men. <laughs> See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men." And that's a, that's an ice cold cut, man. That's an ice cold cut. You know, this is what we always supposed to do. We're never supposed to render evil for evil, man. You know, we're not to avenge ourselves as hopeful elect members, man. So this is something that we got to keep in mind. Like, when somebody come up against us, regardless of who it may be, we got to count it all joy that the Heavenly Father is bringing us into these diverse temptations, man. You know, wherever kind of situation arises where, you know, it can inflict harm or punishment unto us. You know, even if we're uh, suffering wrongfully, the Heavenly Father... Is thankworthy with the, with this, and he's doing this to prove us, to prove our faith, which we're gonna we're gonna need to have when our Lord Yahushua makes his second coming, you know. But that's it, man. I pray through the Spirit and probably have a shot that is edifying. I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Peace and blessings to the nation of Israel, and uh, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Brakak, now I'm telling you, sincerely, this is so into this. Shalom.